Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out today with the uh, Mini 2. I'm at Heroes Park in Meridian. And uh, today is a really blustery day. We've got winds, I think, sustained like 17 miles an hour, gusts up to 29 miles an hour. Well, that is just, uh, well, those wind gusts would be above what the level five wind rating is of the DJI Mini 2. Uh, so I just thought I'd come out and just let's just check it out. Let's see how it does in the wind. We're going to stay right within the uh, confines of the park here and uh, we'll put the little guy up in the air and just uh, see how it does in these kind of conditions. See if we get some wind warnings and uh, uh, just some just kind of general observations on uh, how the little drone flies in the wind. This opportunity came up with on this day of these kind of wind gusts. So I thought, hey, it's a good chance to uh, to check this guy out. So let's uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got everything booted up here. Uh, so let's uh, let's get into the safety menu and do our uh, pre-flight checks. So max altitude 118 meters. That's good. Distance is okay. Return to home altitude. I am going to turn that back down. I had it set pretty high because I was flying in and amongst a bunch of trees the other day. So or actually I was up in the mountains with it. So uh, let's drop that down to about 70 meters. There we go, there's 70. Uh, and let's look at our compass is normal, IMU is normal. Take a quick peek at the battery. Uh, 4.27 volts on each cell, so we're good to go there. Uh, yeah, we should be ready to take off. Let me check the camera, make sure we're in 4K30. And we are. So, uh, Let's go ahead and put this bird in the air. I don't know if you can tell, it's it's pretty pretty steady wind blowing right now. So uh, let's quit messing around, let's take off. I'm gonna get out of the way so you can see it. Doing it on the app here. <clears throat> and there's the little bird in typical DJI fashion. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, even with these winds, it's pretty steady. You can see it moving around there a little bit. Let me uh, yacht around here. And yeah, you can see it's definitely, we just had a gust of wind came up and it it's moving around. We'll bring it in a little closer to the camera. We'll rock it back and forth a little. You can see, you saw that gimbal in action there, how steady it keeps things. And I was getting ready to do our uh, Drony, but there are a couple of people walking their dog right in front of me. Well, they've stopped, so I think we're uh, well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim the drone just a little different direction here, and we're gonna go reverse and up. Now, let me drop the camera down somewhat. Uh, reverse and up. And you can see uh, the, those folks down there. And boy, I'll tell you what, my fingers are cold. It's about only about 48 degrees, but the wind makes it really cold. So the drone is up, we're up, what, 38 meters high, and we're not getting any kind of uh, wind warnings at all. Let me pick the gimbal back up and get that rule of thirds. And uh, yeah, we'll just fly around here a little bit, and we'll see see what there is to see. Let's uh, go to the corner of the park here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I always uh, get you a, a good look at the, uh, at the Costco building and all the stuff going on there. You can also see that they have a bunch of uh, soccer goals set up. And we had some really heavy winds last night, 60 mile an hour gusts. And I can see that it blew some of those around. So, Let's uh, let's go ahead. Like I said, we've got no wind warning so far. Let's and it is windy. I'm telling you. Let's go ahead and kick this guy up. Let's go up to our max altitude and see if we still if we get any wind warnings. 
80 meters, 90 meters, and it'll take us up to uh, about 118. And look at that, no wind warnings. That's where our max altitude, that is under legal. Uh, and you know, I want to point out to you in this picture, if you look on the other side of the Costco, that uh, uh, those housing development that's going up there, uh, boy, those are going up fast. Uh, my wife and I drove through that the other day, but I'll tell you, that is a senior 55 plus community, and those houses are about five feet apart. They are so close together, they might as well be apartments. So I don't know if that would appeal to me or not. So normally I don't fly this high, but I kind of wanted to in this case to uh, to uh, to check out the wind, you know, check out the wind resistance on this little guy. So let's kind of go over to this other corner of the park over here. And I'm full stick forward in normal mode. And okay, let's uh, let's drop some altitude. And uh, to show you the wind, maybe we can uh, maybe we can do a little orbit around the uh, around the flagpole here. You can see the flag uh, really whipping in the wind there. So we'll take it down about 35 meters or so, 36. That's good. And let's go forward. And boy, a big gust of wind just came up. And the little drone, you know, I can tell you flying it, I would never know it. I would never know it uh, flying it in this wind. It just, it's, the, the drone is just flying normal. And you can see that the, uh, you know, the, 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 we still have a level horizon or anything and everything. So let's, uh, I'm going to get a little bit more altitude. And let's see. I'm going to try and do just a little bit of a manual orbit around the flagpole here. So yeah, you can see it's pretty darn windy. Drone's right about over the top of where I'm standing here right now. And I can, I can hear the props, it's really fighting the wind. Okay, let's go forward. And bring it down. And this is what you call a manual zoom, folks. Just moving the drone forward. So you can see we got a pretty good, pretty good little breeze going there. So, okay, let's turn around and let's head to the other corner of the park. And as I said, you can you can look at these uh, soccer goals and they're blown over and blown around. They uh, they definitely uh, in the wind gusts last night got blown around. Okay, let's go full stick forward and we'll raise some altitude and we are again in just normal mode. Pick up some more altitude, almost 10 meters per second. And there we are. This is a view that we uh, that we get quite often when flying in this park here, looking out towards the uh, the mountains and the Boise front. And again, uh, no issues with uh, with wind. So let's go ahead. And let's go up to max altitude again. And the reason that I'm doing that is. Uh, as uh, most drone pilots are aware, uh, often you get higher winds at higher altitudes. So let's just check it out and see uh, see how high we can uh, see if we get any wind warnings, etc. Closing in on 100 meters. And there we are. It says 117. I've got our altitude limit set at 100. 18 so that's about 
roughly 390 feet, something like that. I was looking at the screen there for a second. I thought I saw just a little bit of jello. I might that might have been uh, just a shadow, but uh, but we'll see. And this kind of wind, when you're yawing around, you can see how the gimbal could get uh, could get jumbled up a little bit. There's our rule of thirds. And I just realized that I have not been recording this whole time. Started recording now. <laughs> uh, so we'll have the screen recording to, uh, to measure that wind resistance. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to go back down and get another orbit around the uh, flagpole here. So I'm dropping altitude quickly. And we're moving towards that flagpole, slowly but surely, towards the little fish pond there in the flagpole. I'll tell you, it's, uh, I was so excited to get the drone in the air, I forgot to, uh, to start recording. Okay. Pick it up just a little bit. We need to be a little bit higher than that. And let's see if we can do a little bit of an orbit here. This is yours truly trying to do a manual orbit, so you'll forgive me if I'm not completely in the center. But that gives you an idea of the wind. And we're over the top of the pond there. Let's go full stick forward here in uh, normal mode. We'll go right over the top of the flag. Yeah, I apologize for not having the uh, uh, the, the drone recording during that time so anyway I think we've kind of accomplished what we're uh, what we were after here let's get down low I think we've kind of got uh, the park to ourselves here so we can do some low-level flying that we may not otherwise be able to do and like I said if you look at these uh, uh, a, a number of these uh, uh, goals, they were blown over in the wind. You can see they're kind of strewn about like this one. Uh, you know, it definitely got, got blown over. So, let's move back our direction here. There's one in particular here that uh, that I want to show you that's not far from where I'm standing. And if you look right here, this one, that definitely, uh, that's definitely not where that belongs. That got blown around. And if you're wondering where I'm standing at, right there. And I you know you can tell when the when the drone is in the wind because it sounds different. You can hear uh, those ESCs and the motors working a little bit harder. And they got these set up where they where where uh, these smaller ones for for the smaller kids. I'm sure that's what that's about. 
and it definitely looks like these got blown around here. <laughs> we, like I said, we had uh, last night we had 60 mile an hour uh, gusts, uh, so it was fairly windy. Here we go. I think we should see if we can make a goal. What do you think? Drone soccer. Nah, I'm not going to fly in that. I'm too smart for that. Okay. Well, I think we've kind of proven our point here. Again, let's uh, let's go ahead and let's go back up to max altitude one more time here. Oh, I see an individual walking there, so we're going to stay away from him. I've got the stick pushed all the way up, that left stick, going through 60 meters now. Kind of shows you how versatile this little drone is. You know, you can... Uh, you can do some low-level flight one minute and then uh, get up much higher the next. We haven't had a single wind warning. Max altitude reach, 118 meters. We'll do a quick yaw around here. I'll tell you, it is definitely the wind sure, uh, you get the wind chill factor because uh, I'm telling you, my fingers are feeling it here. Hey, look at that. We got a wind warning. Look at that. And it was a big gust that came up there, too. I can tell you, I'm standing here and a big gust came up. Okay, let's uh, let's just hit uh, return to home and uh, see how the drone handles it. And it immediately took the command. Let me drop the gimbal down here. And you can see where I'm standing there, right next to the uh, picnic shelter. And yeah, we're getting that strong wind warning again. And I can tell you, another gust just came up again. Uh, but it gives you the warning. And the thing is, what's funny is flying the drone, you'd never know it. I mean, it, uh, it just flies uh, as normal. And it's descending. And you get that DJI beep on return to home. I wish they would let you uh, cancel that, but they don't. And looks like we're going to be off a little bit in the grass. So we'll probably pause it when it gets down here a ways. Let's pick that camera back up. And I hit pause there. And the little drone is moving around. Let's bring it back into the camera again, get another look at it here. And we had a big wind gust come up and you can see, look, see how the drone is tilted in the wind there? I'm telling you, uh, just a phenomenal little piece of technology. Uh, you know, I, you, you just have to applaud DJI for this tiny little drone to be able to withstand uh, that kind of wind. So, okay, dokie, I'm going to back it up just a little bit and we're going to go full stick down, put it into landing mode. And it moved off a little bit there. I, I think the wind blew it over. Uh, so, uh, Okay, let me get it all shut down and we'll, uh, we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, again, the DJI Mini 2, uh, trying it out for uh, wind resistance. You guys saw uh, the drone, flying the drone, you wouldn't have even known the kind of wind that we have today. It just amazes me how DJI can build a product this light that has that level of wind resistance. And it seems to agree with what they say with level five. Level five is up to 24 miles an hour. And we're had, we had 17 mile an hour sustained, uh, I think it said 28 or 27 or 28 mile an hour gusts. 
Uh, and clearly some of those gusts that came up were pretty powerful. You just never knew it flying the drone around. It flew as normal. And you saw when we brought it in front of the camera, it was tilted a little bit uh, because it's working against the wind. But with the gimbal, the, the video is perfectly stable. Uh, the, we finally got, uh, we were finally able to get some wind warnings there at the very end when I took it up to max altitude and, uh, and then we got a couple of wind warnings and, and brought it back and, and landed it. But even then it flew just fine. I mean, it, it gave us the wind warnings uh, and I'm sure there is a, uh, a percentage of uh, a safety margin built into that uh, by DJI. Because even with the wind warnings, it seemed to fly okay. Uh, just like I said, pretty amazing for a $450 drone uh, that has the, the camera that this thing has on it. Uh, I, I just, I really heartily recommend this little guy for somebody that's just uh, looking for a drone to fly and have fun and get some decent video with. Uh, for the money, it's hard to beat. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. I think we proved our point in the wind today, uh, how, what a good job that DJI did with this guy. So, uh, yeah, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, but I really do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, again, uh, DJI Mini 2. Uh, it's just one of my all-time favorite drones. All right. See you guys later. Bye now.